Hello everyone, my name is Angelica and welcome to my channel. From small decor pieces, let's move to something bigger. In today's video, I will be changing the look of the IKEA TV stand, which I found on Facebook Marketplace. Like most of the IKEA furniture, they are not solid wood, they are laminate. What does it mean? And basically, laminate furniture consists of synthetic materials used to form like a thin layer on top of the piece. It makes the furniture more affordable to everyone and some people say they are also more stain and scratch resistant. Unfortunately, uh, they are not as easy to work with as the wood furniture are. But in this video, I will show you how you can change any laminate piece and give it a new life. But before I start working on my piece, make sure to give this video a thumb up if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more DIY projects. And now let's get to work. So this is the piece I'm going to work on today. It's actually from Ikea. I didn't know at first. Uh, I'll show you the label later on uh, once I find it. Uh, I got it for free for on Facebook Marketplace. I wasn't even sure what I was getting as there was only a one picture on this listing. The person just left it outside for me and I picked it up. I didn't even know that it's laminated. On the photo it really looked like the real wood but it is what it is. It's another challenge for me and I want to try uh, paint the laminate. I think it's quite old piece, I'm not sure if they even do uh, this piece of furniture in IKEA anymore. Overall it's in quite a good condition, um, there is few scratches on the top which I can fill up. Also there is few places where I think I will have to glue this laminate back in. It's basically like a TV stand with this open shelf on the top and the drawer underneath. Yeah, there is another part where I think I will have to glue it back and this one's coming off but that's not a problem, I just nailed it back in. So my idea for this piece is to paint it black uh, and add few details on the draw and this part. Uh, change the handle for something more modern looking and yeah, pretty much just paint it whole black. I'm hoping to take it apart as much as I can uh, because obviously it will be quite hard to paint it all inside there but because it's an IKEA uh, furniture it might be quite tricky to take it apart and then put it back together. Of course I can remove the drawer and I believe I just take this uh, front panel off and ideally I would like to remove the top part uh, as well but or we'll see how it goes. If not, just leave it as it is and just try to paint it like that. Uh, I will remove it, I put it a bit higher from the floor for the easier work. As I've said before, I start with taking this piece apart. I unscrew the handle and remove the rest of the drawer. I will change this one for something more modern, but I will save this one and might use it in another project. When it comes to taking IKEA furniture apart, you have to be very gentle. They don't really like when you touch them too much. There is similar mechanism in most of IKEA pieces. To separate two pieces, you have to turn the screw to the position where the little triangle points opposite direction to the piece you try to remove. Once the front panel of the drawer is removed, I take all the screws away and put them in the safe place. Removing the top was actually easier than I thought. I again turn the screws and then gently lift the top. I was glad I was able to do it as this will make the painting so much easier. First step in the process of painting laminate furniture is to clean it very well. The best method is to use degreaser and cloth. I go around the whole piece making sure I haven't missed any spot. Then I took another clean wet cloth and almost washed off the degreaser spray. 
Now you can see it's an IKEA piece. I've tried to look online and I think they don't do this line anymore. Using super glue, I glue all of the laminate pieces which are sticking out or are broken. Because my new handle is in different size, I'm going to fill the old holes using just normal filler. I do it on both sides of the drawer. Just remember that filler shrinks while it dries, so fill the hole up to the top and even more. You can always later sand down the excess. And I've also filled the scratches at the top part of the cabinet. The primer I'm going to use later claims that sanding is not necessary before applying it. Because it's my first laminate project, I want to make sure everything will go the right way and the paint will stick nicely. That's why I've decided to sand down my piece. I'm using 120 grit sanding pad and with circular movements I remove the gloss from the laminate. You can use sander if that's easier, just be careful to not tear the laminate. You only want to sand the gloss off. With the wet cloth I clean off all the dust. I do it to each part of this furniture, which I'm going to paint. Now the most important part, primer. I'm using Shellac BIN White Primer. It's quite expensive product, but it works magic. If not this one, you can use any oil-based primer. It's important that it's oil-based. I shake it and pour it into my tray, which I've layered with foil. This primer requires you to clean all the tools you are used with white spirit or any other special cleaner. That's why I put the foil around the tray and I also use cheap roller from Poundland, which I can throw away later. I think applying it with roller is just so much easier and quicker. Be careful as the primer is very runny and at first it looks like it doesn't stick to the surface but just continue rolling and rolling once you see it sticks and covers For places where I can't use the roller, I use the brush. I know I should do all this outside, but what can I do when I live in the country when half of the year looks like this? But I keep the windows open for good airflow. You can also use the mask for better protection. All the parts are uh, primed now. I'm gonna leave them till fully dry, which will be just in case I probably leave them for a few hours. I'm just gonna keep one layer of the primer and once it's dry, I will sand it down slightly again. To make the final paint stick even better, I slightly sand the primer. I'm using 220 grit sanding pad, which is very fine. I clean off the dust and now they are ready to be painted. 
For my paint, I'm going with black water-based quick dry satin finish. It's the same paint I've used in one of my previous video where I was upcycling the rotten chairs. I stir it well and pour into my tray. To apply it, I decided to use better quality roller. It's again just easier and quicker way of painting, plus it doesn't leave the lines like brush does. First coat is never perfect, especially on this primer, so don't be scared if the first layer looks like mess. This paint is really good for furniture, you don't need varnish on top of it and it's still stain and scratch is resistant. I was able to get nice coverage after two layers of this paint. With the front drawer panel, I've left unpainted the middle area. I took bamboo barbecue skewers and cut them shorter so they now fit into this cup. To glue them one by one, I'm using PVA glue, which is a wood glue. I make sure the sticks are nicely tight and this way I cover the whole surface. Now it's time to make new holes for new golden handle. I mark the middle points and make holes with the drill. I put all the pieces back together and my new IKEA laminate TV stand is ready. Now it looks super modern and trendy, you wouldn't even tell that's a laminate piece. I of course made a test and paint sticks perfectly, very hard and scratch resistant. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this transformation and have you ever worked on the laminate piece before? What are your experience? Uh, I'm really happy how this piece turned out. From now I won't be scared to touch this kind of furniture. When it comes to cost, the TV stand was for free. I used two sanding blocks. Uh, I can reuse them again in the future, but let's say I spent two pounds. I've used about one third of the primer, which comes to seven pounds. I only threw away one of the ruler. I washed the other ones 
all the rollers and brushes and the tray so let's say I spent one pound on this I've used whole 750 milliliters uh, black paint and that cost me 10 pounds. I'd use uh, about one pack of my bamboo skewers and that was one pound. And the new gold handle cost me less than the pound. So the whole uh, IKEA TV stand transformation cost me 22 pounds. I think it's not bad. What do you think? Okay guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. And for now, thank you so much for watching, your support, and I will see you in my next video.